So today guys, I bring you details of hotfixes coming today, later today actually, by the time you watch this video, they're probably already installed on your platform. And we also get information on the first major DLC for the game, which is pretty cool, with a little minute trailer too. How's it going guys? My name is DP Jen, I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out, and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away copies of this game to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below so on to the hot fixes there's not much here to be honest but there's definitely things worth talking about so bug fixes addressed a reported concern that players would experience their screen shaking while in a party when one player used bare fist addressed a reported concern with duplicated audio when maya turns on the music in the beneath the meridian when playing in a party Addressed a report of concern where players couldn't hear Eurelia's holographic doorbell answer the door. Addressed a report of concern where some players were missing the waypoint when quitting out of the map or performing a save and load during the bad reception side mission. Addressed a report of concern that the portal in the destroyer's rift disappears after completing the mission Divine Retribution. Addressed a report of concern that the Iridian structures were not resetting after player death during the Tyrion's boss fight. Okay, so on to Bloody Harvest and this is what they state. The spooky season is starting to fade from Borderland 3. Starting with this hotfix, you'll start seeing less haunted enemies until the event ends on December 5th. Lower the chance to see haunted enemies outside of Heck. And roadmap reminder, we have a lot of exciting things coming in the November patch. The most notable being the free content takedown at the Maluan Black Site and Mayhem 4. If you didn't read the roadmap included with the October 24th patch notes, you can read it here. And guys, I'll link that within the video description if you did miss that. As always, please continue providing feedback and reporting bugs to support.2k.com, which if you have a bug, a problem, I'll also link that within the video description so you can report it, people. So those are basically the latest, well, what's changing with the latest hotfix, which will arrive sometime today, or like I said, by the time you watch this video, it's already installed. Now Gearbox or oh, Borderlands 3 not long dropped this tweet you can see on the screen now. Ready to bring the house down sugar, tune in for the reveal of Borderlands 3's first campaign DLC Wednesday November 20th at 8am PT on twitch.tv slash borderlands. And we have a few more details on this but first check out this minute little trailer that dropped with this tweet. Ready to bring down the house, sugar? Okay, so further info. Tune in for the review of Borderlands 3's first campaign DLC on November 20th. Get ready for a glimpse of your next big adventure, Vault Hunter. On Wednesday, November 20th, the full review trailer for DLC 1 will be making its big debut at 8am PST. At the exact time, the third episode of the Borderlands show will kick off to deliver more insight into Borderlands 3's first campaign DLC that's launching later this year. The Borderlands show's regular host Greg Miller and Fran Mirabella from Kind of Funny, will be joined by none other than President CEO and co-founder of Yearbox Software, Randy Pitchford, as they take a look at what's coming in DLC 1 and discuss other news in the wild world of Borderlands. Make sure you don't miss this informative interview about the thrilling story, unique environments and handsome new loot you can expect from this paid DLC. The Borderlands show episode 3 will air on the official Borderlands Twitch channel starting November 20th at 8am PST. See the list below for localised times if you aren't able to tune in for the in-depth DLC 1 discussion as it's happening. You can catch up with the post show VOD on the official Borderlands YouTube channel. And you can see here it's 8am PST, 11am EST and 4pm GMT on a twitch.tv slash borderlands channel which again guys you'll find a link to within the video description as a friendly reminder all four of the upcoming DLC campaigns currently in development are included in the borderlands 3 season pass which you can buy as an add-on or as part of the borderlands 3 super deluxe edition DLC campaigns will expand the narrative and gameplay of borderlands 3 even further 
and we have plenty more surprises in store for next year. In addition to all the DLC one goodness, Greg, Fran and Randy will be talking about a big patch coming later this month, which includes the end game challenge of takedown at the Malawan Black Site, Mayhem 4 mode and some frequently requested quality of life improvements. On the free content front, we'll be revealing more details about the takedown at Malawan Black Site next week before it goes live. And the Bloody Harvest event is still ongoing, so you can collect all those spooky wars before Captain Haunt and his undead minions retreat on December 5th. Don't miss the all new DLC 1 info dropping during the Borderlands show, episode 3, on November 20th. We'll see you there. So yeah guys, great times ahead and I cannot wait to see what's in store for us with DLC 1 which they say drops later this year, so that's pretty cool. And as always guys, if any more information drops on anything surrounding Borderlands, I will have it covered right here on my channel. But are you guys excited for DLC 1? Let me know down below in that comment section. But on that note, we have come to the end. Just a quick video covering the latest news surrounding Borderlands. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.